just getting stuff out of the uh, refrigerator, cleaning it out, getting stuff out of the freezer. The, the roosters, I processed them for my father-in-law. He grew the roosters. That's just some bones I have boiling down. So I'm just cleaning out stuff, you know, showing how you can take scraps and make something good out of it. But in the meantime, I'm having to deal with my wife. So one of the problems we're dealing with a wife that works in IT is some of the lame jokes you hear. For instance, why can't you use beef stew as a password? Evidently, it's not stroganoff. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Ken Johnson. Today, we're going to be trying to save a little money. You know, times are getting a little tough. Inflation's hitting us all. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to clean out the freezer. I'm going to look in the pantry. I'm going to see what type of items I have. And I'm going to make something that anybody can make. Fairly easy, simple. I will do a caveat. I almost always use canned beans. And I rarely do dry beans anymore. Dry beans are cheaper. But I have found that if you rinse them off, it saves you a ton of time. You get the same flavor. And you don't have any problems like you normally do with dry beans. The problem is that I, for whatever reason, probably because they was on sale, I got some black beans that were dry. And I've always had problems with dry beans. So with dry black beans. Regular beans I don't have a problem with. It been pentos, not a problem. But black beans, there's always a problem with them. So beware of that as you watch this video because it took way longer than what it needed to. Uh, so there is caveat there. I'm showing you all the warts and everything, all the problems. This is real life cooking right here. So stay tuned. For my chicken chili, first thing I've got going on is a pound of uh, black beans. And I've got just a little bit of water, about a quart and a half of water. Uh, and I've got them on t about to boil. Then in a instant pot, I've got some uh, chicken carcass, roughly a, it'll make about a pound of meat cooked that I've got seasoned with some salt, black pepper, uh, minced onion, and a little bit of Greek seasoning. All right, so what I have here are three different types of peppers from my garden. These right here are Mexican Pekin peppers. We used to have a type of wild pepper in Northwest Florida that we call bird's eye pepper. It's spread by the birds and look very similar to this. This right here is a Pekin pepper crossed with a Hungarian wax fruit. And then this right here is a Hungarian wax fruit crossed with a Serrana pepper. So these are all very hot peppers. That's extremely hot. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my beans. Actually, after tasting it, I backed off on my peppers. So I'm going to put these in a freezer bag. They freeze beautifully. These jokers do not play. They are hot. And I know if I put those in there, they're exceptionally hot. So we'll save these for a later dish. The good thing is, they came up voluntarily this year. I did not plan them. So, hey, take every blessing you can get. Sorry for the noise in the background. The Instapot's going off and it's not meant to seal for some reason. I'll have to fix that in a second. But speaking of fr freezing beautifully, these, this right here is some yellow bell peppers that I had um, a while back. I froze them. It's probably about, I'd say, a third of a cup. It's a whole bell pepper cut up. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that in too to give it a little bit extra fl flavor from the uh, pepper. All right, I got about a tablespoon of this uh, salsa. 
I'm going to go ahead and pour it in and rinse out the rest of it. It's just getting stuff out of the uh, refrigerator, clean it out, getting stuff out of the freezer. The, the roosters, I processed them for my father-in-law. He grew the roosters. That's just some bones I have boiling down. So I'm just cleaning out stuff, you know, showing how you can take scraps and make something good out of it. But in the meantime, I'm having to deal with my wife. So one of the problems we're dealing with a wife that works in IT is some of the lame jokes you hear. For instance, why can't you use beef stew as a password? Evidently, it's not stroganoff. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Here I have a salsa verde, and it's got to buy a cup in it. So I'm going to take the rest of the salsa verde and put in here as well. Next, we're going to add in about a tablespoon of oregano. Okay, so I poured some of the juice off of the chicken from the Instant Pot, and now I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of cumin. All right, so that's roughly about a pound of chicken meat that I pulled off of the carcass. That's about four carcasses that I'd saved from when I processed those roosters. Um, it's the reason why you save your, your bones and stuff so that you make soups, stews, things of that nature. Don't let anything go to waste. Every time you throw something in a trash can that you don't have to, that's money you throw it away. I went ahead and tasted this. It needs some adjustments, so we're going to add some more cumin to it, uh, a little bit more salt, some garlic powder, just kind of juice it up a little bit. All right, that's about two tablespoons of cumin. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of granulated garlic in here. Now I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of paprika. Got to video this, but I added two bay leaves in. Now I'm going to add in about a half tablespoon of tahini and a half tablespoon of ground allspice. Now, not everything will always go as planned. And I prefer to use canned black beans. And the reason why I like to use canned black beans is they take forever to cook. I started these at 3 o'clock. It is now 6.30 and they're still rock hard. So what I'm going to do is put them in the Instapot and I'm going to let them cook for about 30 minutes and that should soften them up. But before I put them in the, on to cook, I'm going to add just a little bit of cornmeal. Not much, just a little bit. And that will help thicken it up too because this water will not be boiling off like it normally does. I've been adding water to it as I needed to, so I probably have added about two gallons of water I, you know, as it boiled off, so this will suck up. Um, I've got probably about three quarts of water in it now, so it'll suck up some of that water and make it thicker. That's a little trick. Some people don't like it. Some people do. Well, that screwed up. It um, stuck to the bottom of the Instant Pot and wouldn't make a pressured seal. So where I messed up on things was putting the corn uh, cornmeal in. That causes um, that causes it to stick. That's the reason why there's a problem. But I cooked this stuff until 1.30 in the morning, and these beans are still hard. So I'm going to put them in a crock pot and stir them every now and then and see if I can't get these beans tender up. Uh, this is the reason why you should always use canned beans when you're doing with black beans. Uh, they just, they're crunchy. I mean, after all that time, from three around 3 p.m. to 1.30 in the morning, and they're still crunchy. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. Bowl of black bean chili. I hope you enjoyed that video, so let's talk about it. Yeah, um, those black beans were my nemesis. Uh, I had to put them in a crock pot because I put in the uh, the corn meal. Uh, that caused burning issues. I ended up having to put them in a crock pot and stir them constantly 
all day long and still the black eye or black beans were not cooked all the way through so use canned black beans if i'd used canned black beans everything would have been fine but for whatever reason i had dry black beans and i used those i, I did have some canned uh, pinto beans with uh, hot chilies in them that would have been perfect. I could have made that chili with that and I would have had no problem with this video. Normally I, I cook that with my chorizo con huevos. Uh, so that's just chorizo and some uh, eggs scrambled together. Chorizo, some Mexican sausage, and then I'll, I'll have it beans and wheat, tortillas and cheese. Very easy meal, by the way. Super easy, so easy it don't even really warrant a video on how to do it. But if you want it, let me know and I'll show you how to do it. I'll make a quick little video, probably take about five minutes, nothing to it. But with this black bean chili, yeah, if you use canned black beans, it would have been nothing, would have been easy, no need to try to do the Instapot or any of that other mess. I had the rooster carcasses. You could use a rotisserie chicken. If you have a rotisserie chicken carcass or whatever uh, left over, that's perfect. You can um, also buy a chicken that's pre-cooked, the, that's frozen, it's grilled already. You can just throw them into dishes. It's real easy. I'll sometimes do that as a cheat code. Just throw some of that pre-cooked chicken into something. And I have it on hand where I don't need a lot of chicken, but I want a little bit. So that's something that you can do, um, That you know, a little cheat code. But the canned beans, if I had done that, it would have been perfect. No issue. This is a perfect chili. Now you could also, if you have any, uh, uh, chipotles and adobo sauce you could take some of the adobo sauce and put in there that would only enhance the flavor you can do this any number of ways all I'm trying to do is show you how you can save a buck and speaking of money some people want to know how they can help out channel of course you can always do the super thanks and do that I have a patreon page but nobody really does anything with that and I haven't been you know promoting it that much but one thing that you can do, if you hadn't seen the Fiebalk, um review, this is one of the shirts that I, I was sent by Fiebalk to review, and I love them. This is the best, most comfortable shirt I've ever worn. It is super cool. It don't stretch out. Um, it, it is durable. I love this shirt. You wouldn't believe how much I love this shirt. And I've worn it over and over and washed it. And I just, I love this shirt. And so I, I love the brand so much that when they offered me a chance to become a brand ambassador, I seized on the opportunity. And the reason why I bring that up, so what is a brand ambassador? It is somebody who talks about a brand and tries to promote them. And with that, anything that you buy using their link, we get a small commission off of it. So in this case, if you use code KENJO882 at the link down below in the description, you can get 20% off. I will get a small commission. You'll get some great shirts, maybe some socks, underwear, pants, great things. And then I'll get some money from it as well. So we all benefit. And that's a great way to support the channel and also support yourself with some quality menswear. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, you might like this video up here. You might also like that video up here. Down below, based off your viewer preferences, is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like from my content. And the reason why I bring that up is because this video is over with. Bye.